On Macintosh, in order to connect to the Teach cluster, you need to use an application which is called Terminal. I am going to demonstrate two ways in which you can find Terminal on your Mac. The first is to use Spotlight. You can summon Spotlight by entering command and space. In the Spotlight text search, you can enter Terminal, which will make the icon of Terminal appear. You can then double click on the icon to open the Terminal. Another way to find Terminal is to open any folder, like this one on my desktop for instance. Toward the bottom, on the left, you will see Applications, and if you click on this folder, you can then scroll down until you see the Utilities folder at the bottom. If you open the Utilities, you can then scroll down again until you find Terminal at the bottom. Once you have a Terminal open, you can connect to the Teach Cluster. For this, you type SSH, Secure Shell, and then your login. In my case, it is LCL underscore University of Toronto BioD25 student 1917 at teach.sinet.utoronto.ca. After you press enter, you are prompted to enter your password. The key symbol says that whatever you type is not going to appear on screen. If you manage to type your password without typo, you get this welcome message that shows that you are logged in on the cluster. To check that everything is fine, you can enter some command like pwd for instance, present working directory. When you press enter, you get a long line that shows that everything is fine. It doesn't matter what this line is, but it shows that you can indeed interact with the remote system, which is what matters. We are done. You can type exit and press enter. This will close the connection and end the session. Next, we are going to see how to connect from Windows. First, head over to the website mobaxterm.mobatech.net. Find the download link on the left and click on it. Then you want to download the free version, so you scroll down until you can find the download now button. You will come to a new page where you want to download the installer edition. Go to your downloads, right click on the archive and select extract all. Choose where you want to extract and click extract. This opens a folder where you can open the mobile XTERM installer. Once the wizard starts, you can press next, accept the conditions, press next again and then install. After this you need to give the permissions for changes and wait a little bit until the installation is finished. After this you can just press finish and the icon will appear on your desktop. Start Mobile Xterm by double clicking the icon on the desktop. The first time you start Mobile Xterm, it takes a while to load the default parameters. Finally, you need to click on Allow Access and you are ready to use Mobile Xterm. In order to connect to the Teach cluster, you click on Start Local Terminal. This opens a terminal where you can type SSH for Secure Shell LCL underscore University of Toronto BioD25 student 1917 in my case at teach.sinet.utoronto.ca. You then enter your password, which does not appear on screen. A welcome page appears. If a pop up appears as well, just click on cancel. Now you're connected to the Teach cluster and you can check that everything is fine by entering some command line like ls for instance. It does nothing, but at least it does not fail. You can also try pwd present working directory which will show a long line on screen. It doesn't matter what it is, what matters is that it does not fail. We are done. You can type exit and press enter to close the session. Finally, you can close the window or quit mobile extern.